All right, here's our house. I'm so excited. All right, so here's just a brief overlook. I know the roof doesn't look like it's supposed to, but I don't really know how to make roofs, so I just put auto roof on, and that's kind of just what it came up with. Um, but you can see we're just going to do an overview here just to show the layout. It's really, really close. I'm really proud of myself of this. But um, I think we're going to go to the living room first, maybe. Okay, yes, we're still doing an overview. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go to the living room first. And um, that's actually a bookcase up against the wall. That's the closest large bookcase I could find to being a shrunk. But there I am chilling on the couch. We got the rug, we got the lamp in the corner. The blinds are different and the window is different, but that's the closest thing I could find. There's me and dad, there's you chilling in the recliner. And you got all these cool little doodads like right by your chair, which is pretty cool. Like you got pens, a couple books, um, just stuff. There's Austin's recliner. Um, so I fixed the fireplace. There it is, jets out of the wall. The TV's turn in the corner like it is in real life. And um, they don't have fans on here, so I just put up these, this really pretty chandelier thing. Um, it gets a little buggy right here because I, of course, I had to change the settings so it's on widescreen, so it kind of bugged out and went into my room. But I'm trying to show you uh, that mirror. It's actually a mirror right there, and that's the closest thing in small bench that I could find to making the little thing by the front door. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. It's so cool how I did that. And there's alarms on every door, so don't worry about that. That's just for me when I decide to play the household because if somebody breaks into any one door, then that's bad for me. Um, so let's put the walls back up so you can see how the walls are. I got the three-way wall or whatever you want to call it. I got the long blinds. I got curtains. Um, I realized that this does not go here. It's supposed to go above the mantle because I changed it real quick before I started recording. So that's just me putting that back real quick. Um, but yeah, onto the kitchen. I put a tablecloth down. Um, yeah, so that's what that looks like. With the, I couldn't find a painting that would fit. But yeah, so we got the curtains, got the blinds, there's the fire, or the, um, the, the smoke detector on the random wall. Um, the cabinets wouldn't connect, but I put a little, like, pile of magazines there, because you know how Dad likes to put his junk up there, so I just did that to make it look kind of cool. Um, I feel like I should have put a desk on that blank wall, but whatever. And I actually took a lot of time out working on the wallpaper for the kitchen. This is the closest pattern I could find, but, um, I actually picked out each color and the hood for the stove is a bit large but again that's the only one I had downloaded and I got the paper towels there some little knickknackies that's the only trash can I could have on the game because I haven't downloaded any new ones or installed them um, that right there is the is a coffee machine it wouldn't let me put anything a cabinet on the dishwasher so that's why it's by itself it looks really weird but that's just the way sensory works I don't know we'll find out how four goes um, but that's the pantry door but since they don't need a pantry that just goes outside I guess I could have made like a random room but and again they don't need laundry rooms so I made it a half bath just something to fill it in because um, since don't wash clothes they don't hold food they just put it all in the fridge so I think we're gonna go back down the hallway here and um, check out the bedrooms I really hope you're enjoying this so far there's a little thing that goes in the hallway with your little knickknacky things and see, I even took time out and picked out all the colors in that pattern. Again, that's the only thing I could find, closest thing. So, and I put one light fixture in the hallway, but it was really dark, so I had to put two up to make sure it was illuminated correctly. Um, I'm trying to move it in a way so I don't spoil it. Okay, so here's my room. Got the purple walls. Um, I have like perfumes, I got blush, I got a brush, airbrush, and then I got like some makeup, I got a mirror. And I even have like, if, I think I zoom in, yeah. I even have these cool little flower things on my uh, dresser, just like I do in real life. And that's the way it came, and that was really cool to me. That was the closest bedroom I could find like mine. And if you see, I had the exact same pattern on my bed as I do on the curtains. Again, it's super awesome. I have all these random posters in my room because I know before Dominic, I had all that kind of stuff in my room. And again, it's lagging out here, but... Um, Got my little flat screen TV, and I got my mirror, because I have to have my mirror, and there's my boom box. I couldn't put it on a shelf, so I had to just sit on the floor. It's weird how this works. And here's Austin's room. What do you know? What do you know? Look at him, chilling on his computer. 
what a dweeb. But that looks a lot like his setup. It's really weird how it's so close to being Austin. Like, you know that it's his, that's his room. It's amazing. Um, they don't need closets, so I just put the guitar there. I couldn't put, like, a little TV rack or anything there, or DVD rack, whatever. So I had to improvise. Again, they don't use closets, and so I just slapped something there. There's that one poster he has in his room, and there's that old... Uh, plaid bed set he used to have and I put the curtain to match too. And here's my favorite room of all. I am so proud of the way I did y'all's room. It is amazing in my opinion. Um, the walls are white. They just look tan. But look at the flowers. They look identical to the ones that you have in your room. And I couldn't really get the bed coloring right. That was the closest I could figure it out. But I got the curtains and like a really light mauve and a gold. And I got the um the flowers to match and this is the closest thing to your dresser I could find oh excuse me I'm getting kind of loud but I got you some perfumes up there I got you a blush although you can't see the pink on it for some reason whatever and um you see I have two really cool lights or lamps that match I couldn't find one that was just like y'all's but I was pretty close I got dad an alarm clock and they didn't have any tall dressers so I got the shorter one and I put a mirror above it because again that's the closest I could get to it and they didn't have chests or anything like that so I just found something and put the colors in it. So there's your little hope chest thing and there's your TV. Unfortunately Sims can't watch TV in bed so it's really just for looks right now and I spent a lot of time working on this wallpaper. I found the pattern and I put all the colors together. Got you a little bit of makeup right there. Um, got the dual vanities, got the toilet, and again, I had to set it up a little differently in the bathrooms because they don't need closets, and if I put the bathtub up against the wall like it is in real life, they wouldn't be able to get in. And because Sims are retarded. I don't know. That's just what they do. I got a little towel rack, which is really cool. Um, and here's the front bathroom. Again, if you put the toilet right by the bathtub or you block any side of the bathtub, they can't get in. So that's why it's a little bit larger. Plus, the closets in real life are there, actually. So I have to improvise since they don't use those things. But really proud of those rooms, too. Um, let's see. Okay, so again, here's the garage. I know it looks nothing like this, but I just kind of took the idea that Jerry and Crystal had and just kind of set it up like... Um, we got a flat screen here, we got the stereo for music, we got a little gaming headset there, and then we got a bar for a couple drinks. Um, yeah, and this poster right here is actually a fishing sign. There's another poster, the bar. Um, this is just something I would envision that would happen if, you know, we had the time, space, money. And how cool is that? Like, I put the power box right there. Like, it's... It's really neat to me that they include small things like that. They don't do anything for the game. It's just they're there for detail. It's really cool. So onto the backyard. It's a small backyard because it's the only lot I could find that I could afford. There's Dad's All Reliable Grill. So it's not gas, but, you know, same thing. And there's one that you bought him that he never uses. And what is this? This is hairspray. I have to move this. So let me grab this really quick. Game is kind of laggy because I'm recording and I got it on widescreen now. So we'll put that on your dresser. Just say you put hairspray there. There's limited space in the bathroom. So, um, but yeah, there's the blinds on the back door and I got some lights on the back patio so you can see what you're doing. Got the recycling bin because I know y'all recycle now. There's the trash can. Didn't have a green one, but that works. And I've got an air conditioner. And again, it doesn't do anything, but it's really cool. This is the, what is the pantry door? But I just did it there for the looks on the inside. It doesn't really serve a purpose, but it's there. So, yeah. And I put a door at the end of the hallway, too, and that also goes outside. Um, so here's the front of the house. I'm really excited. I hope you really like this part. But So I got all of these flowers. I did my best to kind of make like a little garden area for you guys. I even got the columns up. I did the blinds. I got a bench. Like I, It took my time on this one fit as many flowers as I could in that area um, and I know that we only have one light fixture on the front door but it just looked weird and it wasn't light, bright enough so I put two and there's the fountain that's right I put it in I couldn't line it here it is in motion how awesome is that it actually makes the sound of trickling water but I muted it because there was background music on that so here's some more flowers and your bell they didn't have a little one I'm sorry it looks retarded but it's a bell and it's yours and it's in your house or on the front yard, whatever. And there's a rose bush. I specifically picked that out. There's some white roses or pink roses. And I just picked all the different flowers that were in the game. And I don't know why those are there. I can't move them for some reason. When I recorded earlier, it wouldn't let me. And, you know, I wonder if I can fix 
it's the car color. This is the um, the Audi I was telling you about. Let me see if I can change the color. I'm pretty sure I can, but because it's custom made, I don't know. Oh, I guess I can. Let's bring that bad boy over. Yeah. Okie dokie. Right there. Yep. Okay. Let's darken it up. That's too red. Give me just a second. We'll, we'll be onward with the tour here in just a moment. And that looks good. I, I couldn't modify anything else, like the the wheel color or anything. But yeah, there's the best version of your car I could find. Yay! Got a burgundy car. What? what? So I pretty much got everything I could to match the house in real life. And if, if things have changed, then you know I can't really help that. But so yeah, I spent probably total maybe seven to eight hours on this putting it all together and I really hope you enjoy it I hope whoever sees this knows that it looks identical anyway thank you so much mom and I love you and I will talk to you soon bye